A northern Minnesota teen wants everyone to enjoy the great outdoors this time of year, but also take the right precautions. Nearly a year of his life was put on hold after bug bites from a tick and mosquito got him so sick there were concerns he might never walk again. Our Leah Bino has the story. I honestly just feel uh, great how lucky I was at the outcome. Chatting from his home in Bemidji, Kellen Knutson feels lucky now after a very unlucky situation last April. Suddenly, in the middle of a blizzard, Kellen was rushed to Children's Hospital in Minneapolis. Over the course of just a few days, the otherwise strong 7th grader lost his ability to walk and talk. Kellen was sedated for weeks while his parents were preparing for the strong possibility their 13-year-old son might be paralyzed for the rest of his life. It was also very scary watching your child really struggle with things like breathing and when you know nurses and doctors would all rush into the room to to help and it was you know you could tell in their eyes and their actions that it was a scary moment for them as well through weeks of testing doctors determined kellen had acute flaccid myelitis which is a rare neurological condition that affects the spinal cord and nervous system his parents told a couple of unknown bug bites were likely to blame because kellen tested positive for two infectious diseases one, Jamestown Canyon virus, which comes from mosquitoes, and Parison virus, which is tick-borne, both known to be present around the time of early melt, which in Minnesota often happens in March, just before Kellen started feeling weak. You know, cases like Kellen's are not the norm. I mean, his case is, is quite rare. Then one day, Kellen moved a toe, and more and more physical and occupational rehab at Gillette Children's Hospital followed. Dr. Matt Severson has helped Kellen with his progress for months and wants to remind parents this rare situation isn't to scare people from enjoying the many benefits of getting outdoors, but to drive home the importance this time of year of tick checks and paying attention to any health changes, especially if you are aware of bug bites. Things like rashes, uh, if they develop fevers, if they feel really fatigued and tired, if they're complaining of any muscle or joint pain or headaches, then that would be a good time uh, if any of those symptoms come up to go uh, either talk to your local pediatrician or if, it, if that gut sense says this is more urgent than that, we're really seeing changes happen quickly, uh, then taking your child to the local emergency department. For outdoor experts like park ranger Jess Althoff, two layers of tick protection are required by the DNR. Whether it's gaiters or tucking pants into socks to protect ankles, plus DEET bug spray or permethrin spray on clothing. Jess doesn't take any chances. So before I even leave my house to come to work for the day or if I'm going to be out recreating, it's really important that I think about those things before I leave home. So I'm thinking about what clothes I'm wearing, what sort of forms of tick protection I'm going to wear, and what I can protect my body with. So for me, um, one time a year, I send my clothes into a company that can treat all of my clothing so that I don't have to worry about spraying that on regularly. In Kellen's case, he was never aware of any sort of bug bite, so there's nothing different the self-proclaimed indoor kid on the robotics and swim team could have done. But his hard work the past year is paying off, recently back in the pool with his eighth grade swim team. That felt more natural than like on land. That felt good. We didn't care that he won or anything. It was just like the fact that he's there, he's competing about against all of these able-bodied humans as not completely himself was pretty, pretty awesome and the race to return to his normal life, giving everything new perspective. I feel like with what I had, it you, never, you wouldn't really know how it would turn out, but I feel like I got the luckiest end possible. Leah Bino, Fox 9.